going to jail for home invasion. All right? But you're going to need to seriously try to get off this. Yes, you have to go to jail for this. All right, he doesn't want to pull over for us. He's not slowing down. He's going about 25, 30 miles per hour. Just went through the stop sign at Gishin Suncoast. Well, he's moving pretty good. Just trying to keep an eye on him as he comes around this corner. It's going to dead end up here. Fourteen oh one. They kind of. Fourteen oh one. I last saw the vehicle go. Tucker and Breeze, eastbound on Tucker. He's probably gonna jump out of the car. But I'm trying to be careful through here because it is a residential area. A lot of times these guys in this neighborhood, they run from us. Pull over. Stop your vehicle. Pull the vehicle over. Now he doesn't want to stop. We're not going, we're going about 25, 28 miles per hour. He does not want to stop. All right, he's not going to make the turn at Tucker. Get out of the car! Get on the ground! All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get on your stomach right now. All right, I'm done. 31 I'm done. a foot. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, I give. I give. I give. Put everyone's life in danger because you got to get away for something. Dude, I had a gun to my head. What was I supposed to do? Call get the police shot? or stop and ask me for help. He, dude, he was in the car with me. He was in the car with the gun to my head, telling me to keep on going. Where'd he go? D didn't y'all see somebody jump out? Nope. <sighs> yes, you did, sir, right down there. He jumped out. Look, I ain't got no weapons, no nothing on me. I have no reason to run. I'm, 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 I'm getting up. I ain't got nothing on me, sir. Why would it be running if I had nothing on me? Here, roll up. No problem, sir. Just, man, no. I was just trying to protect my life, man. Did you see me where I stopped living? The, the, the car door come flying open and the dude come run, the, come run. I rolled up on the car and it was sitting there. Dude had a gun he, in my head, dude. I swear to God on everything. He took off I on me on foot. Down the road a little bit. He, he, That's about it. He's okay. signal one, probably marijuana. Yeah, I. I he says I, I, he wasn't I, drinking. Dude, His eyes don't look like he was drinking too much, but. I, I haven't drunk, dude. The, dude, he had the gun to my head, dude. I swear He's saying to Bobby God. was in the car with him. No, David. He's got a warrant, I think. Hey, will I find anything in the car when I search it? Do you have any marijuana in there? Uh, nope. No drugs Is or hand there, grenades? Uh, there might be a pipe. Have a seat. Can I, can I call my uh Have a seat. Friend? That's no. your car. It's your girlfriend's car? Yeah. yeah look, I'm okay. I'll right. get everything. Matt, see, it's small. Yeah, his sister just pulled up, so I'm going to go find out what her story is. Um, someone called her, apparently, and told him that he was down there, so. I'm gonna find out what she knows about the signal, uh, the stolen vehicle, so let me go talk to her. We are just trying to sort out all these stories. What's the deal with him and his girlfriend? That's a jealous kind of, they were fighting. Today, yes. tonight? Yes, they were fighting all, they've been fighting since last weekend, actually. Okay. They are both very jealous of each other. She can't go nowhere without him and he can't go nowhere without her. All right. She got mad, she told him to bring the car back. He said he wasn't bringing it back until everything was calmed down. 
and she got mad and she said, well, I'm going to report a stolen. He said, no, you're not, you're not going to do that. Okay. And evidently she did. Where was that at? Well, she can't report a stolen if, okay, if she's well, mad. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't Yeah, count. they have been fighting since last okay. weekend. Where were they fighting at tonight? Well, it started at their house and then they went over to my house and they were arguing uh -huh. and then it was over the phone. So, you know, just all over the place. Both of them were over at your house? Yeah. He wasn't there long because they were fighting. And I told him, you know, look, I got kids here. They're trying to go to sleep. I got neighbors. Right. You know, you got to stop. But they were okay. arguing for a while. We came up here. I stopped my car because I see that he was this, he was definitely going to lose around this corner because even though we we're going less than three miles per hour, the sand's so soft. Yeah. And you can see him start sliding. And uh, he slid right into the ditch. And he dug his wheels in this mailbox, helped him stop safely. That's what it looks like to me. As soon as he hit that, he jumped out of the car, and we went on foot back here. Well, I'm gonna check the car, see if he, he said he might have a pipe in here. He says he might have a pipe in the glove box. And, oh, he does have a pipe in the glove box. Well, this guy ran from me, and uh, there's usually reasons why people run. All right, you know why you're going to jail, right? No, you, sir, you understand? Well, I'd know for driving without a license. I'd well, that's number one. Jail. Two and three are the warrants that you have for right. not going to court when a judge told you to. I okay? had no proof I had, it. Well, I had to go to court, but I, I ain't going to argue about without Tell that to the judge. No and you need to stop when the police car is behind and telling you to stop. Dude, but okay? you got to understand. You just need I'm to stop your car. If that guy's your friend, he's not going to, you know, he's not going to shoot you. Sit down. Pretty sure we got everything straightened out. It's not a stolen car. She, the girlfriend's just mad at him. He's mad at her. He's just driving around. Um, he's hiring a kite, number one. And I don't really believe the story that he was uh, saying that he was being held hostage in his car and he had to drive doesn't, away from it. Doesn't me. make sense. It doesn't make sense, but hey, anything could happen. Just receiving a call from dispatch right now. Uh, showing that it's a home invasion. Uh, unknown male subject is out kicking in a door uh, to the victim's house. Victims uh, in the house are saying they don't know who this gentleman is. So uh, we better get, need to get over there quick to uh, see if we can help him out. Here we go. We're arriving now. This is it right here. Metro Police. Hey, what happened? So Where's he at? Where's he at? He left. He ran out into the middle of the parking lot looking for Rachel. Show me which way he went. He went out that way. Does he, is, does this Rachel supposedly live here? No. This is my apartment. Okay, you don't even know who this person no. is. No, we've never even heard of her. Does this guy, did he look whacked out of his mind or what? No, he actually looks sober. Really? Yes. And he said he's looking for his wife? Yeah. Yeah, she was looking for a crack. Like, and so this guy had a shaved head and plaid shirt on and all that? Yes. Yeah. Listen, is he screaming? You hear somebody yelling out here? Show me which way he went, partner. We'll he went out that way. Oh, all right. That way. that way and which way then after that? I have no clue. That's as far as I got to watch because he yelled at me to get back in the house. And how long ago was this? This was five, ten minutes ago. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a walk around and see if I can find him. That's not him, is it? I hear somebody yelling out here, and I can't hear who it is. Here, you hear him? Yeah, it's him. That's Where's him. he at? Here, he's over here. Here he is. We're going to come up on him right now. Hey, man, Metro Police, get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground now. Put your hands out to your sides. Put your hands out to your sides. Sir, they just get Cross your right feet. Up. Cross your feet behind you. Put your hands behind your back. Give me, put your other hand behind your back. What in tarnation happened out here? They kidnapped my, my wife. Okay. They drug her off. Three of them did. Who's, who's they? 
three guys. All right, what have you taken tonight? You taking I, any? I, no, no, I'm sober. Okay. I'll give you sobriety taste everything. Listen to me. There's only a, there was nothing but a couple kids that were sitting inside that apartment. Never seen you. Never heard of your wife. Didn't know what was going on. Get their door kicked in, which is why we got called. You understand? She calls right there in that car. Please. Okay. Is that? The car right there you're talking about that's pulling out? I said, probably. I mean, she came down this alley. All right. All right. Needless to say, if she saw you and us out here and she wanted to be around you, oh, yeah, she, will. she would have done something. All right. Sit up here, partner. Oh. Right up. Good. Good. Whoa. Good. All right. We'll walk over here. That's all right. We'll get your pants up. Uh, one of us going to have her there. Possibly. Yeah. Did you see the door? Uh -uh. Uh, ask him, please. All right. Come on in here. Sit down. Watch your head getting in. Do we even know who the female half is? No. Okay. All I've got is the PRs from the... Sit down. Relax, partner. Relax. Because these people here said they've never seen his wife. They don't know who his wife is or never seen him before in their lives. So they're just minding their own business? They're minding their own business. He comes over and kicks the door in their house for absolutely no reason. Okay. You don't have any injuries on anybody? No, nobody's injured, but definitely there's damage to the structure. What we're going to do is go back inside, view the damage one more time. I saw that the door was broken into. We're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge him with a home invasion. Uh, I want to get a, a couple of statements from the victims real quick. And uh, I'll be taking care of the incident crime report. The police. Hey, what's happening? Hi, we got. I got him in custody. I don't know if you saw that or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna come inside if I can get a couple statements from you guys. Go. Don't 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 touch that for for a minute. We're gonna have to have somebody come out and take some pictures of that, and because it's evidence as to what happened here. You guys mind filling out a couple statements for me as to exactly what happened, and I'll come in here real quick and uh, finish the crime report. Thank you. Come inside real quick. You definitely have major, major damage on the inside of the door here. You can see the whole, the whole jam got busted out. Striker plate happens to uh, be laying there on the ground. Well, I guess we're really fortunate here, guys, that uh, he didn't go completely bananas when he came inside. In your voluntary, tell me again real quick exactly what happened with the door kicks and how many times it all. He kicked about three or four times before he finally got the door. Did you think it was actually happening here in the house at the time? The first one or two, we didn't think it was here. And then after the third one, she said that it was our apartment. So you just thought it was just some booms in the neighborhood or yeah, something like that? Yeah, we used to hearing stuff like that. I uh -huh. thought he was trying to come through my window. And he thought, she thought he was trying to come through the window. So I went to the door after the third, third one. And by the time I got out here, he had already got the door open and he was starting to come inside. Unfortunately, these poor people were inside minding their own business and here you come just kicking in their front door, okay? You're going to jail for home invasion, all right? But you're gonna need to seriously try to get off this. I gotta go to jail? Yes, you have to go to jail for this. You kick somebody's door in, okay. all right? You're lucky that they didn't hurt you. So this wasn't this wasn't some silly mistake. I mean, you have to think you went and barged into somebody's house, kicked their door down for crying out loud. I know somebody's. I mean, you know, think about think about think about the tragedy you could have been on yourself if they had been armed and sat there with a magnum and started firing holes in you. This whole situation would have been different. So I'd just chalk it up as a lesson learned. Try to get yourself off the methamphetamine. <laughs> some information from you. We, uh, we don't know very much at this point. We know that at least one person's been shot. Uh, you can see his body laying on the ground just beyond the firefighter there, just to the right of the lawnmower. This was at one time a double wide trailer and then another travel trailer. The neighbor said there'd been some explosions. And uh, you can see the tree just caught fire here. So before we can get back there, the fire guys are gonna have to get that under control. The neighbor over here said that he lives here with his girlfriend and two kids. She said she woke up about the same time he did. They heard a noise, saw a lot of light. He goes, what the? And got up and could see the place was on fire. Tried to go out the front door, which is apparently the only door, and they couldn't. 
So I went back and he told her to grab the robe and he went out the window. By the time she got her robe and came out the window, she heard some big noise and came around the front and he was laying down and there was blood on him. So she couldn't get her car started, got it in his car and went to the neighbors. We're gonna walk down here and take a look at this truck that's down here. And uh, we can't seem to find out if it's one of the uh, volunteer firefighters or just somebody just watching the fire here. It's a little combat looking right there. It's been here for a while. Not too long, though. <clears throat> kind of looks like a tweaker coat in the back. It don't look like a volunteer firefighter type thing. Could you run nine? Well, the Jeep that we're out there is starting to sound like the uh, the female half of this here. It looks like it's possibly her ex-husband or soon-to-be ex-husband's vehicle. And currently, right now, it, he's uh, he's outstanding. We don't know where he's at, so we're going to sit on the vehicle. <laughs> The police dog's showing a lot of interest right in the wood line just north of where the suspect Jeep is. So we're gonna go in with the dog and see if we can find the bad guy here in the woods. Walk out here. Two nine five county, can we have the beeper from there? We got one more in the woods out here. Shot fire county. Kill the lights, kill the lights. Put the rifle down and come out to us, man. It ain't the way it works, amigo. His shot? Yes. Any of our people hurt? No, we're good. Chrissy's about 25 yards. Okay, right in front of us. He just lit a cigarette. What do you need, man? A glass of water, a bottle of water, and a cell phone. That's it? How is she going to talk to you, though? Don't worry about that. You can get her on the line. Well, we got to figure out where she is here. Hang on one second, all right? Yeah. This guy's already fired off a round at us. What we're going to do is we're just going to wait. Wait him down. He's hunkered down in some bushes right now. We know where he's at. We just want to keep a perimeter on him. And we're going to wait till our SWAT team can get out, and uh, we'll let them handle it from there. Wait for daylight? Yeah, I think we're just going to wait for daylight. Just wait him out. I ain't looking for any drama, man. I just want you to walk out of here, and we'll all walk out of the woods. Is that the old lady on the line yet? I do not have the old lady on the line yet. Did you start the fire, too? No, I no, that happened by So once you walk out of the woods, we'll all get out of there. Apparently, you ain't got a cell phone. We're working on it. Well, you got to give us a minute, man. Nobody, we all brought guns and not cell phones. We got a very protective father out of here. Got a man tonight. Yeah, I understand that. To the At least I hope it's to the ground. I'm not really caring if he lives or dies. I really ain't. Well, what I want to do is make sure nobody other fathers have to shoot anybody tonight, all right? Yeah. Boss, you're just going to be walking. Put the gun down. Give me your right hand. Give me your hand. We're looking for a 357 too, so. Where are the other guns, man? I don't have any other guns. Let's get them all in the chain. Love me to stand up on three. One, two, three. Yes, we're fighting one. Go to Luke. God, that was good. Yeah? Cool. I didn't see that. The bang? Yeah, I didn't see the connect. Concussion grenade. This is the guy here that uh, shot the guy in the trailer and started on fire. Apparently, he had a problem, something to do with his son and that subject. And uh, this is the hunting rifle here. We managed to stall him until the uh, SWAT guys showed up. And one of these SWAT guys threw uh, a distraction device near enough to him that it that the guys were able to just kind of get on him and he dropped his rifle.
What's going on? My wife came in last night, drunk, out of her mind. What's your wife's name? Maureen. Or Maureen. That's my first wife. That's a big mistake. <laughs> Janet, well, I'm tired. I just want to go home and sleep. I know, I know. Janet. Wait, it's it's five o'clock. Yeah, I've been waiting since five. Janet. And she came in three times today. Okay. She's drinking. And I fear for my life. I, I'm just afraid. What do we need to do today? I want her out, so I, I, I don't want to have her arrested. I, I feel bad, but she kicked the door in, ruined the whole door, uh -huh. and everything else. Well, right. I can't make her leave. You guys are separated or divorced? No, we're not separated. I just, this just, just happened two days ago. OK. And I want to go home, but I want you to go with me. Absolutely. Do you have a vehicle? No, sir. How are we going to get you there? Rick was going to take me home. We'll follow you. All right. Let's we'll try. see if we can calm her down for a while. and. I don't know. Did you get some sleep? Well, that's where she cut me with a knife. That's a month ago. We'll go check it out. Thank we'll follow you there. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate it. All right. Well, apparently, this guy is frightened to go home because his wife gets pretty violent. I don't know what kind of mood she's in today, but sounds very upset. Let's see what this lady has to say. Here, let me just go in. Staying out of sight would be Can good. I get underneath yeah, could you go over there and hide for me? Uh, it's the sheriff department. Hi there. Can I come in and talk to you? Yes, you can. All right. What's going on? My husband took everything we had out of the bank, my rent, my utilities, every payment that I made bounced. Well, his name's on the account, so it's. Yes, it was on the okay. account. So it, it was on the account. All I right. admit that. That's a civil dispute dispute between you guys. It's not illegal. That's true. OK. How much did you have to drink tonight? Well, I've had a few, but okay. I'm home. What happened like a month ago between you and him? How do you get the marks on his arms? Same way I got the mark on my nose, the bruises on my back. I'm just, I'm just asking you. How do you get the marks on his arms? I don't know this. I don't know wh how. I'm asking you. We have had many problems. He has been in jail for abuse. OK. What are we going to do tonight? How are we going to resolve this? I am So home. I don't need to be coming back out here. I'm home. I don't want him here. Oh, he told me he had a place to okay. go tonight. He just called. Listen, I got called here because he doesn't have a place to go tonight. You have a place to go. So let's resolve it now. Call your daughter. And you guys separate for the evening and work out things tomorrow. OK? Ma'am? OK. I'll do that, Barry. Grab your phone. Thanks, Chuck. I appreciate it. Well, I tell you what. I'll call the landlord, and you can pay the rent that you let the check bounce on. OK? It's my money, Jan. Sir, I'm going to tell you one more time. Right. And that's going to be about can it. can you come over here and get me? I've got cops all around me. Um, and Barry's here, and they're going to let him stay. Can you come and get your mother right now? I'll get my clothes ready. Thank you. This is ridiculous. Well, it's a risk. absolutely, totally ridiculous. We're resolving it for the evening, OK? Yes. You guys need to start going through what you need to do to take care of your situation, your relationship. Because it's not. The relationship's over because he's a con artist. Okay. He has conned everyone that I know. He's conned my family. He just called my sister and asked her to borrow money after he took everything we had out of our savings and, and checkings. I mean, you are a bad Malo. Can I get some clothes? Go ahead and do that. I'm going to follow you around, okay? OK. Sorry. Why do you, you have a thing about knives? Well, I put it there There's because a... I was worried. There's a knife and sword. Is that sword yours? Well, that's just. Is this your bed stand? Yes. Okay. That's a crack knife, I'm sorry. No, it's not either. I had it there because I was worried, Barry, Officer, about you. I would like to know why she has to go. He beats my mother. Okay. He has beat her up several times. He pushed her down with my three year old daughter in her arms. He has beat her several times. She has been out of work several times because of the way he has beat her. He stole all of her money, every penny she had. I have to pay her rent this month. He just called my aunt in Illinois asking her for money after he stole all of her money. Yeah, why'd you do that? It wasn't his money. You don't even work, Barry.
not true. You do not give her any money. I don't You work. don't give her any money. No. Everything is her money. You're it's liar. hers. You're pregnant. You're, You're pregnant. Liar. You're sorry. pregnant. You're Come on. I'm not a liar, Barry. I worked for two years and gave your mother I mean, my checks pregnant. for two you years. You would not give her a penny. I've been good to your mother, and you know it. Thanks for leaving her without a home. All right. Thanks, Carrie, for helping me. I love Let's you. Let's go. This is not right. I hope you know. You know why you're leaving tonight? Because he didn't have a place to go, and you do. That's it. You're not being punished. You're not in trouble. I just want you guys to get away from each hey, other. He's got a pocket full of money that he took out of our bank. There's it's a 20 and a bunch of ones. I, I counted it. There's no, there's no. That was enough for a hotel. All right, let's go. $1,800. Okay. $1, okay. You Thank can check you. the bank. I didn't find $1,800 on him. I would tell you if I did. He spent it. OK. All right, keep your mouth shut. We're going home. Take her to the courthouse Enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy it tonight. Mom, keep your mouth shut. Hell Thank no. you. Welcome. Okay. That's all good tonight. Are you guys involved? You guys are witnesses? Somebody here have an ID on you? Uh, you, you want my ID? Yeah, you are a witness, right? Yeah. Let me get your ID from you real quick if you don't mind. Okay, okay. I see you take one of your IDs so that way you don't leave till I give you back your ID. Okay? It's just easier that way. Yeah, mom, she's got neck and back pain. It looks okay. like she's under the influence of something. She's okay. not nice taking any medication, but the way she's acting. Okay. You know, this is the daughter. Who else was in the car? Both of them? I think just the two of them. Just okay. Two. What car were you in? No, it was me, her, and my friend. Okay, what car were you in? I was in my mom's car. Okay, well, I, I don't know what, what, mom, what your mom's car is. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. It's, that, it's the red one. Okay, and what? And we had the right away. Okay, well, hold on one second. Don't start barking at me, okay? I'm sorry, I'm well, just relax. mad because I understand my mom's well, broke. Okay, well, like have a seat for me real quick. Ma'am, this is a very important question. Are you on any type of narcotics right now or under the influence of any uh, alcohol? Oh, no. Okay, have you been sitting here the whole time? Yes. I'm going to tell you right now, though, you're going to get transported down to Sunrise Hospital where an officer's actually going to be present there. We need to know if you have any type of narcotics in your system. I don't have any. Okay, do you use any type of drugs? Oh, my God. Yes. She been standing here the whole time that you guys have been here? Actually, uh, yeah. Who was driving that vehicle? Your mom or you? My mom. Okay. What kind of narcotics does your mom use? My mom does it. You can give her a drug What about test. you? Do you know what this is? No. Stand up, young lady. We're going to have a whole bunch of hard times can here in about two seconds. Can you please be careful with my wrist, okay. please? Hold on one second here, okay? Until we find out what exactly is going on with everybody here, you guys are all going to go in handcuffs because you know what? Now there's prescription pills that are sitting down on the ground right where you guys have just been sitting that haven't been there about two seconds ago. So if we want to keep destroying some evidence, we'll just start taking everybody to jail. You guys are going to need to sit down and relax. What is that that you just crushed right there? I'm only going to ask you this one time. So have a seat on the curb like I told you before, and I'm going to test what that is. What is that that you just crushed on the ground? It was a Xanax. What else do you have on you? There's like three Xanax and they're my mom's boyfriend. Who's are they? They're my okay. mom's boyfriend. Stand up. Where are they at? They're right here. Those are the only ones? They're in your shoe? No, hold on. Let me sit down and I'll get them. You better not destroy them. I'm not. I'm going to show them to you. Okay. And you can even ask my mom. Her boyfriend okay. is prescribed Xanax. Okay? okay, why do you have them in your possession right now? Dropping Xanax, dropping meth. Real quick, how long have you been here? Uh, since I've seen them. Who's the only persons that have been sitting right in this area? Uh, this, I'll tell you like this. Okay. The girl was taking it out of her bra. Who, which one? The one in the pink. Because okay. me and my girl was talking over there. I've right. seen her reaching. Reach it. What'd she pull out? That bag that you had just found. Oh, so see, she was driving it. It's a girl, yeah, little, it's a young in the pink. White pants. Yeah. yeah. She was, where's the girl in the white pants at? She was in the back. She was in the pants. Okay. Actually, okay. Pass, what, no, she was passenger. Passenger. Okay. Passenger. Oh, I don't know, but I know okay. they got home. Okay. Okay. The mascara's all over the airbag. I know if you were driving. I don't have any makeup on. You got a little bit of mascara right here. It's not like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm not real good on. I'm not good on makeup, so. Okay, what did you pull out of your bra? I'm only gonna give you one try, then you're gonna go to jail. Okay, I'm not gonna play these games with you. 
So what else did you pull out besides the Xanax out of your shoe? I only have Xanax in my shoe. What else did you pull out? I did not pull out anything. Okay, so this pipe and everything is not yours. So a witness what? that's sitting over there that saw you pull something out of your bra that I have right here is nothing has nothing to do with it. No. Okay, you're under arrest for possession of controlled substance, okay? Is your mom using any of this? You need to let me know that because if they go down there and she's got narcotics in her system, they cannot properly treat her. Obviously, you guys are probably going to take me to juvie, so yeah. can I please just give my mom a kiss? Hold on one second. What stuff has your daughter been using today? Because she's dumped some methamphetamine out on the ground and also a pipe. And there's also some Xanax that she has. So right now, she's already under arrest for possession of controlled substance and also possession of uh, prescription drugs. I'm gonna kick her ass when I get out of here. And then there's also that, that little green baggie right there. What's the little green baggie? I don't know, it looks like it's got some crystal substance in it, and if I was a betting man, I'd probably say I'm it's some methamphetamine. I'm gonna kick their asses when I get out of here. Yeah, well, did your, did your daughter use any type of narcotics? No, not you sure? that I'm aware of. She's the only thing I can do right now is... actually an angel. Well, you can deal with your daughter after she gets out of juvie, okay? Oh, I'm gonna kick her Okay, that's that's your right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, let me make sure the trap officer doesn't need it, need it for anything. Right now, uh, the other officer over there is gonna go ahead and transport uh, our female down to Juvenile Hall, where she's gonna get booked for uh, possession of controlled substance. Uh, and then she's also gonna get booked for all her uh, traffic-related offenses. She uh, didn't have a valid, I didn't have a driver's license at all. I alter my appearance quite often. The dirt that I'm fixing to put on me makes it look like I have um, been working all day um, in a labor-type job. I'm ready to roll. Everyone else is in position. Let's go see if we can't get some bad guys off the street. All right, there's the UC. He's gonna try this gas station right down the street on Edison here. And then he's gonna try and do a dope deal from a couple of guys hanging out in front. Gary! Yeah! What's up, man? It's Brett, dude. The undercover was uh, riding past the gas station, saw a guy he knows. He's putting up an order right now to order uh, probably some crack, and we'll see if the guy will go and get it. How much you want? I got, I got 40. Okay, 40. All right. We'll go together, take your time. Yeah? I'm on, man. Mm -hmm. I'm on. Place the order. Uh, you ordered something like 40 hours worth of crack cocaine. All right, we're gonna follow the UC with the target to another house to get the dope. There they go. He's gonna ride up the BC alley to try and get the crack. Give me the money, man. You bring it back, man. Yeah, I ain't running off of it. There's half. Come back with two, and I'll give you the rest. You guys going around back towards the alley. We're gonna wait for him to come back out and uh, complete the deal. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Thanks, good. All right. We're gonna pull left, guys. I'm gonna try and put him right out on the uh, passenger side. Right there. All right. Go. Let's go. Get on the ground. What? What I did? Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. What I did? What I do? You're under arrest. Get your hands behind your back. Out there selling dope. What's that doing dope? Yeah, you was. That's what we saw you doing. Who's the guy on the bike? I ain't selling no dope. What's your name? Let me get it. One, two, three. I ain't selling no Ready? dope. Are you under arrest for sale of cocaine? What's that little dope? What's so if we stop him, we ain't gonna find any dope on him? I don't know. I doubt it. He wanted all the money up front. I uh, wasn't willing to do that. I uh, explained to him I'd been ripped before, so I gave him half. Uh -huh. I told him to return with the two rocks. Okay. Good job. One down, a few more to go. Yep. Sounds good. Let's go find somebody else, take him off. Yeah, he should be coming up to metal right now. Uh, Where exactly is he, Rob? He's got a black male, no shirt, with blue jeans, short times. Want to check him, white shoes. All right, I got an eyeball. 40. Too hard, man. I'm not, man. What's up? What's that? That's for my dialysis, bro. Don't pull on it. Dialysis? Yeah, man. I got shot, man, two years ago. He's made contact with two guys. They're checking him for a wire. Um, we're making sure that he doesn't get robbed. We want to stay real close. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, dude, before I drop you. Just drop it on the ground. Hey. I just want to get high. Go ahead. I just want to get high. Right. Thanks, bro. All right, it's a go, right, Rob? Yeah, you're all set. You can take them. They're both by the stairwell. Go, let's go. What about shirt, shorts. Oh, that ain't doing nothing. 
All right, just relax, just relax. Just relax, put your hand behind your back. All right, just sit, relax. What are you doing out here? I'm standing outside, sir. And you're doing what? Just chilling. Stand Ready? Up, One, two, three. <clears throat> Anything in those? How much money you got? That's about like 70 bucks, bro. Right now you're under arrest for sale of cocaine. I feel you on that, but I'm saying. No, I'm glad you're filming. I'm saying, damn, dude. Saying, dude, oh, make sure you know relax. me. Gonzalez, you know me. Sit down. So who's the dude on the bike? I don't know the dude on the bike. He came up here, sir, as a dope dude. I don't know. I didn't got I didn't give him if you want to dispute it, take it up with the judge. All right. Bro, Zach! Man, call him mama, man. He grabbed the cigarette pack, and when the cigarette pack came out, uh, so did the wire. And so we tugged on the wire and asked, you know, obviously, expletive, expletive, what was that? I said, and he tugged on it, and I said, uh, hey, man, be careful. That's my dialysis. I got kidney problems. Uh -huh. And he was like, oh, I, and he actually apologized for okay. pulling on it. So An apologetic drug dealer. Good. Worked out well. Ready to get another? Let's go. What's your name? Brett. Brett? Yes, ma'am. Leonard. Nice. Leonard? Just like Skinner. Leonard Skinner. Yep. Yeah. That's a southern band for you. Trying to score some dope. I got it coming now. Awesome. He's, uh, he's talking with a white female. She said she's that. waiting on dope to be delivered to her here. And the UC is going to just try and play off that and get $40 worth of crack. How much do you want? 40 40 I got 40 There's half. You come back with two rocks. She'll make her transaction, and then uh, she'll come back and make the delivery to our guy. And we'll see if we can take both of them off. She's getting the truck now. She's putting something in her left front pocket, and she's walking back towards the UC now. The truck is pulling off. Rick, you want us to follow that truck, please? Yeah, it's in the turn lane for us. Yeah, getting ready to turn on to Cleveland now, and she's walking back up to the UC right now, making contact. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's get in. Now, the small tubes, like, you only need a little tiny hit. You're a good girl, man. Golly. All right, done. Looks like a good done deal. UC is away from the white female. She's still sitting in the bushes. Go ahead. Right there, right there in the corner. Got something in the hand, in the right hand, right hand, right hand. Keep that right hand. Oh, yeah. Got it. Drop Two pieces. Right, give me some cuffs. I got them both. All right, come on out here. You've been arrested for this in the past? Never. Never? How long have you been smoking? Just like a month. I've just been depressed. And... Where'd you get the dope from? Um, somebody was just walking by. Somebody was just walking by gave you? How much they gave you? Um, like three pieces. No, open your mouth. I see it, she's not talking right. Spit it out. Spit it on the ground. Is that what it was in when you got it? Yeah. That's pretty nasty. Hey, you got a little more than two pieces. Have a seat. You good with her? Okay. So when we got her, we got the guy who supplied her with it. And then the other two, we got uh, the other guy who's supplier. And then the other guy you got off of uh, BC's Alley. Good job on your part. Good undercover. Thank you very much. Control 3 North 41, copy 467. Stay in the car, sir. Get in the car. Be in Nevada 160. We will be at Palo Verde and Twain inside uh, Market Mercado parking lot. You have your license, your registration, your proof of insurance. You got anything in the car that could hurt me? No. Go and get your registration and insurance out for me. You know your right rear tail lights out? Oh, is it? Is it really? Yeah. It's broken. You didn't use any signals. You're just coming around the corners pretty fast. What's up? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, what's going on? Right now, I don't have it, sir. OK. okay who's who's the name on the registration? My name. Your name? OK. Do me a favor. Go ahead and. Step out of the car for me. Just come on straight back here. Okay, uh, come on. Hold on, Steve. Hello. Richard. Who's this? Hang up the phone and step out of the car. I will. Now. Right now, yeah. You're about an inch away from going to jail. Okay, sir. What part of this don't you understand? I'm getting it, okay? No, you're not. What? You're stalling. I want you to get out of the car. Come on. Step out of the car. I am. 
Put your hands where I can see them. Okay. Bring your hand around right now. What? I just got my money, man. You put your hand. What? I'm just putting my money in there. Okay, 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 okay. Wait. Don't you. Wait. Put your hands behind your back. Don't, man. Don't. Don't, man. Don't. Okay, wait. Give me your other hand. Wait. Give me your other hand. I am. Hey, that's what you were hiding. Damn it, man, here. Don't. Go, man, go. What's it for, man? What Let's doing? go. What? Right here. Okay, okay. My man, my money. Oh. You got, you got it? Yeah. Lean back. What? Right. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Listen to me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have the presence of attorney. You cannot afford one won't be appointed for you. You understand? OK. What was in the jar? Be honest. Be honest. Oh, you know. Yeah, you do. All right, I want you to think about it for a second, OK? Come on over here. Come on. My money, man. Don't worry about your money. That's now property of Las Vegas. Spread your feet. Oh, no, Spread your feet. I got Oh, They're as loose as they're going to get. He's got a ton of dope on him. Where is that? It's on the hood. Well, it's North 41. Okay. 3 North 43. Just got off work with all that. Oh, I didn't have that. Dude, it fell right out of your pocket. No, it did, man. Yeah, it did. That came out of you, OK? It's real simple, all right? You're under arrest. Is it meth? I'm going to test it in about five minutes. I'm going to find out real quick. What is it? I don't know what it is. OK. Anymore. Well, it was on you. It wasn't on me. So, yes, it was. No, it so you're going to jail for that. Got That's fine. And you'd have probably been going home had you just been a little more cooperative. I just got paid how much we got there. Over 500? Uh, probably close to 2,000. Paid you. 2,000? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Almost 2,000. And with that amount? No, that's not worth it. As soon as we test it. That's my, that's my boy. I just got saved. I can prove that. What are you on right now, sir? Nothing, man. My, my teeth hurt, man. How come you're sweating like a madman? Because it's hot car. I understand. I'm standing next yeah. to the hot car, too, though. I got a turtleneck on and a long sleeve shirt, and I'm not sweating anywhere near like you are. I'm going to test it real quick for uh, meth. <laughs> we got a disco? Bad. Wow. Wow. That turned. Bingo. Very quick. OK. Richard, once we get this weighed, you're under arrest for uh, possession of methamphetamines. You need a sheet? No, I'll do it down in jail. OK. Is there anything in the car that we need to be worried about, my friend? Huh? My cell phone. Get my cell phone. Your cell phone? What else in there? And there's a pink paper in there. Is there anything illegal, any legal no. contraband, anything in there, any oh. narcotics or anything like that that we need to uh, be concerned about? I'll give you a chance. You can tell us. You can tell us right now. Should be good. Burglary, burglary, grand larceny, under the influence of a controlled substance. Come on. Yeah, 2000 was the most recent. Okay. So. Burglary a bunch of times, grand larceny a bunch of times. Any narcotics related stuff? Yeah, that's the next sheet. Well, the, the bottom one that's was. That's the next page. Yeah. Holy smokes. Uh, under the influence of a controlled, a felony. So I'm not really sure what that is. Um, ITS drugs, all local possession controlled, or? So, yeah, everything. Oh, everything's local. Yeah. Like I said, we'll give rope a call, let them know we got them, and go from there. We're going to a call here where the uh, two year old is being kept from the mother by a, a male. He's walking around, holding the child, refusing to give it to the mother. Sir! Sir! Stop right there! Hold on, sir. Get it. Move over there for me.
1402 Lee County 97. I'll be out with the father and the child. What's going on here? Me and my wife are splitting up. Mm -hmm. and I, I was packing my stuff and I was trying to leave with my son. Who has Keep custody of the child? We're, we ain't separated or nothing yet, so we both have custody. Okay. Well, this stuff is at the house, though? That's his primary residence? Well, she took, she's running from the law from North Carolina, moved down here with him, and I came back to get him, and now she's trying to keep me from leaving with him. She had an outstanding warrant for failure to appear in North Carolina, and she had the money to fix it, so she came down here where her mom's at. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I need to hear some information. Where, hey, buddy. How are you? Hey, Riley. Riley? Yeah? So you you came down from North Carolina to get him? Yes. My, I, I live How long there. ago? Uh, two days ago. Okay, so she just came down with him? Yes. And she uh, moved all of her stuff down oh, here? She's been down here longer than that. Yeah, she moved her stuff down here. When did he come down? With her. How long now? Um, not even a month. Okay. Did you report him missing up there? No, I didn't report him missing or anything. I didn't know I could if it was, you know, it was her kid, too. I didn't know it was illegal. To... Well, if she's uh, leaving not on, like, a vacation, she's not allowed to just take the child okay, well, she just out of the state. And left out of state with him. Like I said, she left because of that warrant why she left. Okay. And you have a motel you're staying in? Yeah, why have you got it yet? I got to go up here and get it. Right, well, do me a favor. Um, just kind of hang out over here, try to be comfortable. I'm going to go try to talk to her. What's her name? Her mom's Debbie. Debbie? Sleep with Alan. Who's Debbie? I am. Are you the mother? No, oh. she's at their house right up the road. Okay. I'm trying to get hang some on, facts here. Did I'll that child here. come from North Carolina within a month? Six weeks. Okay. Did she have permission from the father to take the child across state lines? Yes, he was with her. In writing? He was with her. They were here together. They came together. And then he went back to North Carolina? And he left okay. and came back last weekend. Okay. And now he's leaving again. Okay. Okay, get the whole story. That's again, why she's having can we go back to the earlier comment I made? That's what, what I'm trying to do, I is get the whole I'm story. I'm sorry, we're upset because these children don't need this. The kid was screaming for his mom, and he was screaming for me, and the dad's jerking him away. It can't keep on. These kids don't need to see this. Okay. Stuff. Well, if you can get the mother down here, we can sort this out, because that's who I need to talk to. I'll be right over here. That's fine. Your story totally conflicts with their story. One second. He was down here for six weeks, and uh, for you to just come down and take him out where he's been for so long, 1402 County, 10 4 10 6. All right, stay right here for me. Are you the mom of this girl? Okay. What's going on? He so says you have a warrant out in North Carolina. Is that true? Uh, yeah, my attorney's taking care of that. Okay. So that's been waived. Now, him on the other end, he has no license at all. And he has an illegal vehicle here. No tag, no insurance, no nothing. Well, his brother is coming to pick him up. He's not going to be driving. He's full. His brother's in North Carolina. Okay. And the money that he has in his pocket is mine. He took from me. $260. Uh, and that kid has no car seat, no food, no wipes, no diapers, no nothing. So I don't see how that's fit for him to take a child and have nothing to provide for him. Okay, so you're both living there for the last month and a half. Yeah, and I sent him packing because he wasn't going to get a job and he wasn't going to do anything. And I'm not going to be married to some low life. Okay. So I told him to hit the damn road. I'd pay for it. Gave him the money. His ass hits the road, gets halfway to North Carolina and comes back. Oh, I'm sorry, this, that, and the other. No, I'm not going to play that crap. So I waited till I had more money, enough money, to give him to go back this weekend, and this is what I get. I try to be nice. I said, I have to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to work. I mean, you know, I I'm kind of upset. I he's two and a half. He can't fend for himself out here in North Fort Myers to beat it all. We're in the process of buying a house. You know, there's a lot of going on. Mm -hmm. And this, here, he's not involved with the purchasing of the house. But that's not the point. The point is, he does not have the means to support this child. I'm trying to find out where the child has residency here. and where he stays. Here. Okay. He has not had residency in North Carolina for six weeks. Okay. And he didn't have residency there. Okay, well, I'll get your name and everything in just a minute. That's just fine. stay right over here. Jeffrey, listen, I'm a father just like you, and I would want the best thing for my child. And right now, tonight, in, in the conditions that we're facing on your part, and the best interest of the child would be to be with the mother tonight, correct? I guess. Yes? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to show you North Fort Myers on the street, no place to stay, no food right now, no vehicle, versus at least a house, a roof. He should be your main concern, his safety. You want me to take him over there so there's no argument? What's his first name again? 
Riley. Well, his first name's Justin, but he goes by Riley. Hey, Riley, come here. Let me see how heavy you are. Mr. Fix-It, oh! Hey, I got something for you. You want something? Ooh, how about that, buddy? You like that? All right. He's all yours, okay? All right. Yeah? Oh, there's mommy. Who Pick gave you a bird. bird, baby? Where you get to be bird? Who gave you that big bird? There's a bird. There's a big bird. Um, I'm not here to determine who has custody. What I'm here to determine is the best safety thing for the child. That's fine. So he determined that since he doesn't have a car, he doesn't know where he's going to stay, and he doesn't have the necessary essentials to take care of him, that it would be best to be with you. He just dripped something out the window. Now we're stopping a vehicle. And it just left a dope house. We've been getting several complaints at the house down here. We're going to stop and see if we can find out what they're doing over here. I'm taking her home and we're running out of gas. Where's home? Right there. What'd you stop down there for then? Car park and we're trying to go around. How are you doing? Then. If she lives down there, why'd you turn that way? Why? Did because I turn we that just way? Because she right knows there. the guy, she was saying hi. Mm. Your address shows grapevine? Just step out for me. Stay back here behind this truck talk. Who do you know at the house over there again? I don't know anybody. She's a family friend. I picked her up. Went to lunch, taking her home. Now oh, we're going to the gas station because the truck's almost out of gas. Which gas station are you going to? Chevron. Chevron? Island. Yes, sir. We just got pulled. It doesn't explain to me why you made a turn to go the because opposite she direction from where you're going. that dude, and she said, stop real quick. Stop real know, quick. Did she pick up anything from the dude? Truck. No, sir. No? No, sir. Nobody came in the truck? Nobody got out of the truck? No, you could see. I mean, we they were parked, and we were, had to go around. They moved their car. Mm -hmm. What, did she ever talk to the dude she was looking no, to sir. talk to? No, Because we're running out of gas. You could hear it's going like. What did you drop out the window when I got in behind you, back here? You looked right at me and went like this, out the window. The only thing it could have been was a cigarette. I was, okay. I swear Smoking on a cigarette? my life. Just have a seat for me real quick. Is there anything in that truck I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing at all? Nothing she may have picked up and put in your truck? Nothing you may have left in your truck? She hasn't done anything. Nothing? No, sir. They okay. just looked at me. Have a seat for me. me. Okay. Can I get my daughter out? Yeah, go ahead. She's probably terrible. She's going to get the kid. Here's Bobby. And what it is, we've been getting a lot of complaints of people dealing dope right there. That's the whole thing. Well, the I, and I agree. Watch out, Leonard. Oh, God. But and that's the reason why we're... That's the reason why we're... That's the whole name. I agree, okay? okay? Yeah. But when they're being more specific, okay? Are you diabetic? I'm not sure. Okay, is there any reason why there'd be a syringe in your car? It's not, Mike. It's a family friend's, friend's as you can tell. Friend's car. Why don't you step out for me, too, Miss? Okay. See, that's the, one of the main reasons why we're doing what we're doing, okay? Why don't you have a seat for me right back up there over the curb so you don't get run over? What did I do? Okay. I'm, I'm just have a seat for me so you don't get run over. I didn't say okay. you're going to jail. I'm just asking if you have a seat for me. Okay. I found a uh, uncapped so syringe in the door panel yeah, so. right next to where she was sitting. It's got some brown residue in the yeah. end of it. It's more than likely going to be heroin. You know your social? But uh, we'll see what else we can find. At least they gives us PC for the rest of the car, search the rest of the car. So. Someone here is lying. I understand you have a problem, and I commend you for trying to get help. Okay? But now it's, but it's, tell but the it's, truth. But it's wrong. Okay? Tell me the truth. Okay. Uh, officer, I was on my way to the store. Okay. And I seen her at the gas okay. station. Okay. And, um... She was begging for money. She didn't have no money. Okay. And get out. The baby got some money. And she said, Janice, please help me get some gas. Okay. She didn't get out of the day. So okay. I helped her. I took the money that I had and gave her some gas, bought some sodas, bought some cigarettes. And other people have been in a van. They take advantage of her and they get tired. They get but as long as she was me, they didn't have Hang on. As long as she was with me, she has not used no drugs. Okay. And Problem is, know. that still doesn't explain how that syringe got in that vehicle. I didn't put it there. It was high there when I got in. Okay. Whether she did or the girl, the people she been with might have, have put it in Have you allowed anybody there. else to use this vehicle today? I have, but that's not it. I know who it is because I put it there for her because she had it in the glove box where my daughter could kick it. And you're going to let them take no. my daughter away I because you're have. not going to be honest about Parents are now yet? I didn't have no syringe. Why are you lying? You been getting hell, dance why the baby don't have no pampers. You been getting stepped 
That's why you didn't have no gas. I took the last money I had to try to put some gas in there. I put $3, $3 worth of gas. Janice, I don't have 20 now. This? Why are you doing this? Okay, well, that doesn't explain why, what you're doing over here, okay? I if you're having problems taking care of your kid and you're doing things on the side to make money, okay? I, I, I know what understand. you're doing over here. Okay. Everybody else knows. Right. Tell me what you're doing over here then. I was a better friend. And she was gonna teach me, and I had a babysitter. No, she never what? showed up. No, no, no. She never. Teach you what? She never showed she up. Did. What was she gonna teach you? How to trick. But she didn't show up, and I couldn't do it. And I swear that is not my experience. Where did this one come from then? This one was stuck on the back of the seat, right above your purse. As good as you know I'm me. in recovery. Why don't you just be? No, you know I. If you put a syringe in there, and you're gonna let them take my daughter because you're afraid to say that was your syringe. I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem if I was still using. But I've been good to you, Ashley. I've been good to you. They just left a dope house down here, down the street. I've already found two syringes on them. Both of them got heroin residue in them. Uh, one of them was uncapped. She's had a piece of a broken crack pipe on her, so you may want to watch your fingers. If you don't mind. Searching her real quick, and then I've got another one in the back seat back here. Sure. She's the one that had a Why I'm being charged with it? Okay, this is the reason why you're being charged with it. Okay. Okay. You're the op you're the operator of that vehicle. It was found on your side of the vehicle in the door. Okay. She said that you've been missing for two days with your kid, trying to get high out here, getting high for two days. She, she has no reason to lie to me. She's going to jail for two tickets. She lied about the crack pipe. She lied about her track marks. She's mm -hmm. lied about, uh, she's going to jail for tickets. But how many times have you lied to me also? I haven't. I've got, that's why I was, she, where Take did she seat. say she was going Take a seat. home to trees to her Take a seat. drug owls? I want my puppy. Take a seat. It's okay, baby. It's going to be okay. I'll have to call CPS to come get her kid. Well, we've got an officer who's willing to volunteer to take the child down there. Well, maybe sending her kid to CPS and her going to jail will make her think twice. Uh, I copied it. I have it. Copy. Up here on the right, it looks like a male and a female in some sort of a heated verbal argument. He's acting really strange. Wow, it really looks like he's amped up. I'm going to see if I can watch him here for a second, see if anything else transpires. They're leaving together. Did you On patrol, we saw a couple here a minute ago. I think like they were involved in some sort of a heated altercation. So we're just going to make sure that everybody's all right. Oh. Here we go. <clears throat> Put the car in park. Put the car in park. Control 3 North 43, copy 468. 3 North 43. It's going to be two times, uh, HMA, HFA, 953 inside the commercial center. Hey, step over here in front of the car. Don't touch that. Step over here in front of the car. Put all that out in front of you. Put the smoke down. Keep your hands out in front of you, right here. Right out in front. Turn the car off. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Come over here. Hey, she... hey, Leave hey, the baby hey, there. Hey, hey, hey. Step out. My baby's in the car. I understand that. Put your hands back where I told you. Step out of the car. Leave your smoke in the car. Come around here. Can you please get the baby? Can you let her get the baby? Time out. Let me be in. Let me be in charge for a minute. Well, look, that's my baby. She almost ran you over. I'm no, getting. No, no, no. She accidentally pushed on the gas. She didn't. Let me get to the bottom of it. Put your hands on the front of the car, like I told you. I'm not going to tell you again. Step to the front, ma'am. Step over here to the front of the vehicle. You're going to go to the left side of him. Keep your hands on the front of the car. Sir, let go of the hat. Step back towards me. Any weapons on your person? I don't even know. Okay. I don't think so. Well, until you know for sure, that's why these handcuffs are going on, OK? And you understand why I came by here and stopped you, right? Oh, yeah. I was just driving by. I'm you were know. a bit heated. And what do we see? Well, see, it wasn't even that. It was really who picked the paint uh, for the bill. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, okay. And usually I pay for the bill, but she want to pay for the bill. I'm the man of the house, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I should pay for the bill. So that's what that's what the whole argument was about, is over bill payment? Yeah. Okay, step back up over hey. here for a second. All right. You pregnant again, Mav? Tell you what, we're going to take this purse off here real quick. Do you have any weapons on your person at all? No. Okay. All right, you know what? You know, just put your hands behind your back. Here, you can't pat her down, though. You already can, know that, yeah? I can pat her down however what? I want. I don't have Just like I patted you me. down. Rod? No, you can't. No. Rod, I just want to get my baby home, okay? All right. I do, too. All right. We're going to make this. No, I'm just saying. My listen. You're making this here. worse. Listen to me. I'm not making it worse. My baby is in back of the car. She's, She's probably okay. scared. We're going to make the situation safe oh, first. Where's your ID at? I got no ID. Okay. Whatever you find in there, I'll split with you. What's in there? Holy smokes. Oh. For sure. Wow, we, wow, know. we. What's in there? All kinds of narcotics. It's mine. Let's roll to jail. I'm ready. Good. I'm Come ready. On. I'm ready. Huh? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I love you. Huh? I love you. I love you too. Sit here in a second. For sure. Oh, she's crying. All right. Man, I'm going to do my best to get you out of here, OK? What, what is your relationship with him? That's why. There's a reason why he's my ex -wife. OK. You want, you want to tell me a little bit about it real quick? I mean, you're out with him tonight, and that's his, that's his baby, and that's We're your child? We're trying to go have, yeah. We're trying to go have dinner, have a good night. This is crystal meth. Looks like little crystals. You put this and all of these in this container are crystal as well. You throw the spoon in, all these little individual bags, and there you have crystal methamphetamine distributing for sales. All right, Roderick, you understand what you're being arrested for, trafficking in methamphetamine? You clear about that? Yeah. Okay, my partner here is going to transport you downtown. Just sit up here for a second. My partner is going to transport you downtown. He's going to take good care of you. Do you have any questions for us at all right now? <laughs> no. All right, well, you got a lot to think about. I know your lady's pregnant and everything like that. You might, I don't know, you might want to think no, about. I'm no. good. Well, I know, but you might want to think about changing your ways. Well, I know. I tried tonight, but it's all right. Okay, all right, we're going to get you on your way right now. Here we go. There's always tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day. Piece of car right here. All right, Jennifer. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your license back. Oh, okay. I was gonna forget all about that. All right, your, for your cooperation and everything else is the only reason why you're going home tonight. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, you could have been caught up in this mess much, much worse. Not only, um, you know, you've cooperated. Him you know, I, but well, I'm just, I'm just telling you. You know, you need, you need to really think about some of your life's choices. You know, you've got a clean record. You know, and you seem like you got somewhat of a decent, good head on your shoulders. You don't need to be caught up in any of this you know, narcotics trafficking that's going on with boyfriends, and you get caught up in the middle of this, you wind up going to jail, your child's gonna wind up going into protective services, you know? And what we're even more lucky is that he, you didn't run him over tonight. And I know you weren't trying to, you're just trying to get away. This truck doesn't have a license plate light. Stop him, talk to him, see what's going on. George 191 traffic. 91. At Arizona for Adam Mary, going to be Apache Trail and Chrisman. Mary 712 89 Lawrence, Tennessee, Maryland, and 529 negative. 1 Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Oh. What's up? Do you have your driver's license with you? Um, no, I don't actually. Do you have a driver's license? Um, I'm from Maryland. I have a Maryland Third driver's license. I'll give you my name. This is my mom's truck. Whose backpack? I have a 487. All right. This is got junk in like uh, uh, Don't Don't dig in it, please. I have a 487, 921 reference to a stolen mountain bike. Would you go take it? Do me a favor, hop out real quick. Make sure you don't have any oh, weapons yeah. either. That's no guns, no knives. No, right here, right here, right here. Oh, Come put your hands behind your head and interlock your fingers. You're not under arrest, all right? Okay. You got anything I need to know about? 
Hi, sir. You sure? No, no weapons, no knives, no nothing? No, sir. No drugs? No, sir. OK. What you get in this back pocket? Uh, just pictures from the a magazine. Can, girly I, mag that's can I go ahead and take them out? Yeah, go ahead. The girly magazine? Yeah, yeah, sir. I was going to call a number. That's it. No big deal. Keep your hands up there, OK? OK. You don't have any warrants or anything like that, do you? Possibly. Um, For what? Uh, Let me get you a stand right back here. For a date. OK, you can put your hands down. Okay. Um, for what? What was your court for? Uh, what was it? Um, I think a disorderly or something like that. So, like a, um, in front of a hotel one night, like disorderly conduct or something. I got it there. Navajo County. Okay. It's a That's misdemeanor? Uh, yes, sir. Stand right here and wait for me, okay? Just relax. Is there anything I need to know about in this truck? All right. No other ID in your person. You don't mind if I look, right? Um, Okay. Is there anything I need to know about in there? No, no drugs or anything like that, right? I certainly hope not. No. Okay. What's this? What's that? You got more knives than, than I've ever seen in a purse. I'm cruising with the wrong girl, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna watch my back. Hey, Billy. How long you known this lady? Not long. Couple weeks, probably something like that. Yeah. Yes, where'd, sir. Where'd you meet her? Uh, through a friend. I uh, just lived nearby. Uh, her friends. My friends now on vacation. Yes, sir. Don't know her. Second <laughs> time I've seen her. So you met her a couple weeks ago? Charge one ninety one. That you would take a couple, maybe like a month. It's your girlfriend or what? I don't know. Kind of. She's flaky though, man. Flake, flake. She's hot but flaky, dude. Hot but flaky. Yeah. I think so, right? I know, I mean, I know all about all the knives or nothing like that, dude. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs right now, okay? That doesn't mean you're under arrest, but I'm just gonna do that so I can finish looking in the car and I don't have to try to watch you too. So turn around. Put your other hand back here. George 191. Come on, George, not in handcuffs? Yeah, he's in handcuffs. I'm going to okay. sit you down. Do you need another unit? Uh, I got another unit out here with me. Uh, so I'm fine. Thanks. I'm going to sit you down over here. OK. OK. We've got a 1051 out of Navajo County. Right here on the curve. In Holbrook with a bond of $5,000. What other warrants might you have? Aggravated DUI. <laughs> Does that sound right? Ag DUI? Yeah, that sounds right. Yes, sir. An extreme DUI. Also got 1051 out of his PSO with no bond for failure to appear for preliminary hearing. Hey, Rhonda, are you lying to me about your name? No, are you sure? I'm positive. I give you my social security number for one. Okay, come on out. Okay, he's in custody if you want to go ahead and confirm. And I've got a so a soap for Rhonda if you want to try that. You ready? I can't run so you can I was well I guess I should. Okay, will you try our state? Can you put her in your car? You're gonna sit in his car for a little bit till I figure everything out, okay? Passenger's got two felony warrants. So I'm gonna look around in here and see what we have. Maybe we can find some ID, some drugs. Here he goes! And 121. Oh, he fell! Billy, what are you doing? Uh, you're on your belly. Okay. I'm on the. You all right, Billy? No. Did you hurt your face? My head. I ain't gonna try nothing crazy. You already did. I know, you're right. Get up. I put him in handcuffs earlier because he had warrants. And uh, I was just finishing searching the vehicle, talking to him. And next thing I know, he stood up and took off running. But he didn't get far with the handcuffs on, and he tripped and fell. Uh, lighter, chains and stuff, chopstick. Why'd you take off running with handcuffs on? Um, I was going to try to put him around in my front first, but uh, that's the only thing I was thinking. I should have. Try to get him to the front, but I was stupid even run. I don't I wasn't thinking that's the problem. I wasn't thinking. No. I wasn't thinking. What'd you think when you started to lose your balance? 
Okay. I thought I was going to hit my face, but I spun around and kind of... Yeah, took it in the shoulder and your elbow, huh? Yeah. All right, you going to run any more? Negative. At least not with handcuffs on? <laughs> not no That's more, period. Three, two, three, two, All right, go ahead and have a seat. Four, you got to go to jail for those warrants, so... All right. Not every day you see somebody running handcuffs, right? Not every day. No, not every day, that's for sure. Now you know why. It don't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I gave Rhonda a criminal ticket for failing to provide ID and no driver's license. She could have gone to jail, but I gave her a little break on that. He's going to jail. He's got two felony warrants. One of the props we use actually is we, uh, Craig will dress Craig up like a, uh, like he's uh, spraying bugs in the apartment that the possible target's at. He'll just walk around like he's spraying in there and if he, that'll get him access to every room in the house. Once we get the, once we get him in custody, we have a system, it's called PIT. It's in yeah, the I jail, but they do have portable, we do have portable ones. However, we don't have a portable one today. But what we've used in the past is if uh, somebody's lying about their name, we know who they are, and we're trying to cover the tracks of the person that made the phone call. What we'll do is I'll, we'll take the thumb of the suspect, we'll place it on here, then they usually give it up who they are. We don't have to take them down and actually have them fingerprinted. Um, Daniel is currently wanted for parole violation for uh, narcotics trafficking. He's on paper for some other, other charges. Uh, He's been arrested for child abuse, theft, all kinds of nasty stuff over the years. Um, we had an anonymous tip that he's hanging out in several residential areas, so we're just responding to the tips. Yeah, he's supposed to be coming out of this uh, park across the way here. I think looking straight across, he's got to pass that red truck if he goes out Boulder Highway. You know, that's him. Is that him? Looks like him, doesn't it? Yeah, let's let him go into the store. That's him. I think that's him. Looks like him. The nose looks like him. He's got a scar lower lip. Let's go get him. him in the store? Yeah. You want to take him on the outside? If he's in there, I'd like to just walk up behind him and All right. do him. He's going to be able to run here. Let's go do him. Yeah. Daniel, right? Yeah. Back by the water coolers. You take this out, I'll take the next. What's, What's your name, name man? Huh? What's, What's your, name? your name? Jeff. Jeff, Jeff what? what? You got some ID on you? No, no. Okay. Look over at me. Oh. We just had a robbery happen. Robbery? Yeah. yeah. Do you have ID? No, I don't. Have you ever been arrested? Yeah. Okay. Under the name Jeff what? You Jeff don't have what? any ID with you? No. Okay, let's come on out here so we're not disturbing anybody. Okay, let's come over here. I just come from the trailer right there. From which trailer? This trailer's right there. That trailer park? Yeah. You said you came from that trailer park? Yeah. Now, we got someone matching your description who just did a robbery over at that casino down that way. Well, are you sure about that? Positive, well, positive, I didn't. OK, what have you been arrested for, man? You have anything sharp in here that's going to poke me? Yeah, these look like yeah. hypodermic devices. Yeah, are these hypodermic devices? One. Do you have any in here that are they have the caps off of them? No. You sure? What is your real name? Hey, I tell you what, I... Because you're lying about your name. People know their last name. What's your last name? Hey, hey, I, I, I could do his... The uh, fingerprint scan? Yeah, I'll do the thumbprint Tim on Ramsey. Tim I'll, Ramsey? Yeah. I'll do the oh, thumbprint on Oh, you ain't no Tim Ramsey. Yeah. No, he's li he's shaking like a leaf right now. He's you guys lying about. I'm scared. I didn't do nothing though. No, you're 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 scaring me because I think you're lying to me right now. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick fingerprint scan on him, download sure his data, that, uh, and then I'll uh, yeah. send it off to the jail. Yeah, the modem's up. It'll send. Okay. Hey, Carrie. Let me just get his. Sir, your first name is what again? Tim. T I M. Last name. Spell it. R A N. This is one. Your date of birth, sir? 220. 220 what? 24. 224 what? 70. 70 what? 74. 74? And how old are you today, sir? 224, 74. And you're how old? 20. You're, you're 20 or 28? 20. You're 21? 28. 28 years old. Two, you're 28, and you turn 28 on what day? 2. On what day? 24. 24. On 24 of what day? 2. 
Hey, does he have a scar on his lip? <laughs> My bottom. <laughs> oh, man. All right. He's got a warrant for parole violation. What are you on paper for? for uh, uh, it was drug court. Daniel no. And, and two different cases. OK, and what, what's your date of birth, Mr. Seven what? 760. I'm going to write that down. OK, yeah, do me a favor. Confirm the warrant, fax and abstract back to the yeah, county jail. Hey, Dan, how long you been running for? How long you been hiding? Over a year. Over a year? You just been living, I mean, just going so from. So you see, I'm kind of relieved. Exactly. All right. He admitted he was a parole violator. Uh, he's, he's been on the run for some time, a couple years.